Hello, this is Monica from Unique Designs by Monica, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these Thanksgiving icons that you can put on cards or for scrapbooking layouts or for whatever um, crafting need you might have on Cricut Design Space using nothing more than basic shapes. So let's get started. So we're going to start first with a turkey. And this is going to be a pretty basic turkey. It's not going to be incredibly detailed. It's just going to be something simple that you can put on a card or on a layout. So we're going to start with an oval and then we're going to start with a circle. All right, let's change these to the same color because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a turkey. And that's just going to be the drumstick. And let's give it a nice little fat drumstick just like that. And we need to have the little legs sticking out. So let's do a square and two circles. All right. So for, nope, no, no. Just for the bone part, it's, we're going to elongate this into a rectangle. Like so. And we're going to grab the circle. And we're going to place them right on the end here. Now I'm going to give it two different sizes just to make it look a little more realistic. We're going to weld everything and then we're going to change the color to white. There we go. Alrighty, now let's just bring this one forward. Now if you want to make it look a little more de de uh, three dimensional, you can always make another one and move the back to give it the illusion that there's another side behind it. Let's see, do I want it here? Do I want it here? I think I want it right here. And now this turkey needs to be on a plate. So what I'm going to do is just going to grab another circle <coughs> and I'm going to elongate it just so it could fit the turkey. And we're going to move it back. Now you can change the plate to whatever colors you want. You can put patterned paper on it. You can do whatever vinyl you want to put on it. But for me, I'm just going to do it a nice simple white platter. I'm going to make this a little smaller so it can fit on our, on our page. Now, if you're going to create this, remember size. I'm making it this large in order for you to actually take a look at it. But if once you create it, always remember to select everything and change it to the size that you want. Let me just do that again because apparently I had it off a lock. Remember to lock it. That way it only gets it, uh, resizes it and it doesn't misshape it anything. So right now this is at 5 inches by 4 inches or um, just about. There you go. Now let's do some mashed potatoes. We're going to do the same thing. For, let's start with the, uh, the bowl that the mashed potato is going to be started in. And I'm going to give get a nice big bowl of mashed potatoes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice this. Oop, I grabbed the wrong image here. And I'm going to use this as a, as a knife. That's all it's, I'm going to be using it for. Slice. Now you can use this for your neck for the next image you don't have to um, delete it not not really you could just flip it put it set it here to the side and so now we have two bowls now if you want your bowl to look a little more stable you can always put a little rim on the end of it so we're just going to get a square unlock it And that is our bowl. I'm going to do this twice. Now you can make this as long as the height. Oh, let me do that again. The just unlock here. And you can make this as deep or as thin as you want. I just wanted a nice little thin border this time around. Select this and weld. You can do the same for this one. Nice two big bowls. Actually, I think for this next one, it's going to be a smaller bowl. There we go. 
So let's do a nice big bowl of mashed potatoes. I'm going to change the dinnerware again to white to match my turkey. And I think I might have made this a little too big. So let me just resize this. There we go. Now for mashed potatoes, it's going to be the very same way that I, I did bubbles for the cauldron in my Halloween icon series, number part two, I believe. So all I'm going to do is grab a circle and I'm just going to manipulate this to give it a nice couple of lumps. Now it doesn't really matter the bottom since you're not going to really be seeing them, but it does matter on the top. And oops, ooh, I deleted it. Let's bring that back. Right there. And right there. Alright. These are all my lumps. So all I'm going to do is just weld. Now you can leave them like this and just put them into the bowl. But I kind of want to be nice and neat as much as possible. So what I'm going to do instead is just going to copy and paste. Right there, I think. Oh, my bottom is escaping. There you go. I'm going to weld everything. Now this is going to be my back portion. And my potatoes are going to be a nice little potato -y color. There we go. That's a little too yellow. Let's go a little lighter. There we go. So we got our top and our bottom. And these should match up. Okay. So we're not done yet. I need the top portion, I mean the back portion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create gravy. And the very same way I did the mashed potatoes, I'm going to do the gravy. But this, I'm going to do a little bit of ovals. Different size ovals. I'm going to make them big and small. And I want to keep in mind not to go past this top part right here. small one right here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these actually I should probably select them from here so I don't miss anything and weld okay select everything and slice now I have my gravy I don't need any of these now depending on what kind of gravy you like you can do white gravy or you can do brown gravy. Our family normally does brown gravy. Mm-mm-mm. Brown gravy. That looks delicious. Now we're going to do cranberry sauce. And if you've ever had cranberry sauce out of a can, which I have, it always looks like a can once it goes onto the, um, the container. So... Uh, the, the bowl actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a circle. And I'm going to just elongate this and create little ringlets. Like so. And I'm going to duplicate a couple of times these two right here. And right there. Now I just want to make sure that these are right in the middle and this is always going to baffle me on which one is correct. Is it horizontal or vertically? I think it's horizontally. Yes. Got it right. <laughs> Weld. Okay. And I'm just going to change the color to cranberry red. And that is my cranberry sauce. <laughs> I'm going to change the bowl to the same color as everything else. And we got a cranberry bowl right there. Let's make this just a tad bit smaller. So I'm going to take it off the lock. And there we go. That's my cranberry sauce. Now, if you really want it to look like cranberries, you could always get the mashed potatoes. 
you take off the sauce, obviously. And then you just change the color. Come on now. Oh, there we go. And you just make it the, the size you want for your cranberries. There we go. <coughs> Next, we're going to make a pie. And for every Thanksgiving, I always we always have um, pumpkin pie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a polygon tool. And this is going to be the base of my pie. I'm going to slice the top because I don't need it. And I'm actually going to go a little lower than than I normally do. Normally I slice it right up here, but the, for this time around, I'm just gonna, I just need the bottom portion. And I'm going to slice. I no longer need this. This is gone. And let's make this big enough for you guys to see. Now to make it look like a pumpkin pie, we're gonna have to do a couple of things to it. First things first, we're gonna round out the bottom just a little bit. Let's see now. Maybe I can make there we go. That's what I was looking for. Alrighty. Let's pull it in just a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Let's duplicate this because we're gonna use this in a bit. And weld. Okay, now we've got a nice little round edge. And if it has a little, if you see, if you don't like these little edges, you can snip them right off. If you're using paper, just snip them right off with your scissors. Mm. Okay. Let's just make this a little deeper. Take it off the lock. Just like that. And we're going to elongate this. Come on now. And we're going to give it a nice brown crust. Let's bring it forward. And we're going to have this go just slightly over. And have it go all the way to the end. Like so. Alright. Now we're going to duplicate this and make it smaller. Just a little bit. We're going to give it a nice little pumpkin color. Yeah, a little lighter. No, I like the other one better. Alrighty. Let's bring this in just a little more. Okay. And of course, we can't forget the dollop of, of uh, whipped cream on top. So we're going to grab ourselves a circle. And we're, all we're going to do is elongate this to get a couple of ovals, each one going a little bit smaller. And just cut this like this. And weld. Actually, before I weld, no, no, I'm just, I'm going to have to keep it look or organic. I don't want it to be centered. Because, you know, whipped cream is never perfect. There we go. And all we need now is to change this to white. Take it off the lock. And then we can resize. There we go. We have ourselves a pumpkin pie. So let's resize this to fit our theme here. Good. We have turkey, mashed potatoes, cranberries, two kinds, and we have a pumpkin pie. What we need also are dinner rolls to go with our mashed potatoes and make ourselves a little sandwich while we're eating it on our plate. Not that I would do that. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab my circle and turn it slightly oval. Not too dramatically, just a little bit. I'm going to duplicate this twice and what I'm going to do, actually let's do it one by one. I'm going to elongate this 
and then tilt in. Do it again. And be sure not to have them touch. You, you have to have a little gap in the middle. Let's change the color to this, like a more cream color. And let's do some brown dinarols. There's a lot of brown going on here. I guess you could also make this as like a baked potato if you wanted, but I think this looks better as a dinner roll. All we're doing now is just shrinking the dinner rolls. I'm just going to have them stick out just a little bit. Oh, come on now. Now, I'm going to slice this. Oh, wait, it's not going to slice because they're not welded. Now I can slice it. Slice, slice, slice. And all I need is this portion right here. Everything else can go. Now we have our dinner rolls. Of course, we need a plate. Can't have a dinner rolls just laying all over the place on the table. Let's make these nice and small. And bring these to the front. We have one and two. You can make, make as many as you want. This is going the wrong direction. There we go. So we have a turkey, mashed potatoes, dinner rolls, cranberries, and a pie. What else do we need? We need something to drink. We need every something to wash this all down. And if you come to my house, you might actually have some wine. So in order to make wine, you get yourself a, a, um, a square. Now, I did this tutorial, I believe, in my drinks tutorial, but I'm just going to do a little recap. All right, all I'm doing is going to elongate this to the size that I want my bottle to be. Just bring this down just a little bit. Now, I need to have a nice round edge to my bottle and a small round edge right here. You don't have to, but I kind of want to. All right. That's one end. Let's bring it in on this end here. And rub. Okay, that's the top of my bottle. Now you don't have to. You can leave it nice and flat, especially if you're going to do this on a, on a uh, scrapbooking layout. But I kind of want to give it a small, just a tiny bit right there, like that, and weld. See, just a little, it's, so it's not so flat. And now I'm gonna do the, the pouring spout part of the bottle. Okay, wait, before I do that, I also need the lip. And there we go. Let's make sure that this is aligned correctly, horizontally. Yeah. And weld. Now you can make this a black bottle, a white bottle, a green bottle. I'm going to just stick it to, keep it to a nice dark green. There we go. And of course, this bottle needs a label. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a square. Now there's a couple of ways you can make a label. You can just have it a nice square and then turn it into a rectangle. There's your label. Or if you want to get fancy, you can actually have it slightly oval at the top. See if this works. And uh, 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 slice. No, slice. There you go. Okay. 
like that. So it, this looks more rounded. You can also round out he down here. So using the same shape right here, let's flip it. Okay, I don't need this. I do, however, need this. And let's just elongate it just a little bit. And we're going from edge to edge. Well, okay, so it matches the bottom portion right here. So it's really up to you if you wanted this label or this label. You know, I like this label better, so I'm just going to keep that. Make this the size that we need it to. And if you've seen my cup tutorial, cup and mug tutorial, this is just going to be a re recap. I'm going to be making a wine glass. So these are the shapes that I need. All right, just two circles and a rectangle. Okay, I need to take that off the lock. Highlight everything and horizontally, yeah. Weld, come on now, weld. Alrighty, all I need now is to cut the top off. Now you can go as high or as low as you want. I think right there is fine and I'm going to slice. Now, keep this one right here and flip it. Uh, wrong kind of flip. All right, let's change the, cla the glass to, we can do either white to match our dishes, green to match our bottle. I think this time around, I'm gonna keep it white. And our liquid can be any color that you want, but for me, I think I'll do red. And we just need to pull this in just a little bit, not too much, a little more. And there we go. We have a whole dinner for Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for uh, stopping on by and seeing this tutorial. If you like what you saw, click that like button. If you want to see more tutorials, I post on Wednesdays and Thurs uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesdays and Saturdays. If you don't want to miss that, uh, click that subscribe button as well as the little bell notification to let you know when I post. Um, if you like what you saw, share it to to your friend. Thank you so much, and have a beautiful day. Bye.